welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you my July and August favorites. I did not film a July favorites, so I'm just combining two months into this video and um, let's get started. So the first thing I want to share with you is my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Overnight Hydrating Mask and this is it right here. It is, it's almost like a gel consistency and it's very, very hydrating. I wear this at night and it, in the morning my skin just feels so nice, refreshed, and just hydrated. Really is what it is. So um, I started using this when I was walking through Nordstrom. They had a sample, so I picked one up and I tried it and I loved it. So I went back and bought the full size and I've just been loving it since. Before I started using this, my skin was more, um, I guess you would say oily but dry in certain areas and now that I've been using this my skin is not like that anymore. I do use it every night. I know it's a mask and you're probably supposed to use it like I don't know a few times a week but I use it every night and I love it. Now this is a big jar but this one has 4.2 fluid ounces in there. So I really love this stuff and until I find something else to replace this, I will just continue to use this. I love it so much. The next thing I want to share with you is, um, I know I mentioned in my, I think it was June favorites. Yeah. In my June favorites that I didn't have a face moisturizer and this is the one that I picked up and it's also from Kiehl's. Okay. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream and it's for normal to oily skin. At first I picked up just the cream and I did not like it. It left my skin feeling too oily but um, I took that back and then I picked this one up. <laughs> this is a 1.7 ounce jar and it's gel and I really like it. So see I've had this I want to say for I don't know two months maybe and or maybe a month. I still have a lot left in there. And I just use that in the morning, like after I wash my face and before I do my makeup. So it's my moisturizer. Um, the next thing I want to share with you is are my Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. And they are my favorite. I have tried other makeup wipes and these are the only ones that actually do not burn my eyes when I, you know, take off my eye makeup. They they just don't, you know, I tried generic brands and I've tried other big brands, but none of them compare to Neutrogena and I've come to find out that I do have sensitive skin and I guess sensitive eyes too. <laughs> so these ones are amazing. Okay. All right. I know I have a bad glare in here, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. The next two items are two makeup brushes and these are face brushes. I love a lot. Oh wait, there is one more makeup brush that I wanted to include in this and for some reason I did not grab it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so <laughs> I've been using the Morphe E2 as a powder brush and it's so fluffy and it's so nice. Yes, it's dirty, but I just used it. So I guess you know, that excuses it. <laughs> so I really have been loving this. It's, it's amazing. It's an amazing, amazing brush. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but, um, I did use one of those affiliate codes and I got a discount baby. So, you know, that's good. <laughs> and then another, this is a blush brush and I've been loving this one. This is the Morphe E4 and it is an angled blush brush and you just use it you know to apply your brush so yeah these are my morphe brushes that i've totally been loving and i can't get enough i am already planning another morphe store trip because i just love their products and the last brush i have is an eyebrow uh, an eyebrow angled brush or an eyeliner brush whatever you want to use it for but I use this for my eyebrows and this is the MAC 266 brush. So I use it for my Anastasia dip brow and my uh, NYX eyebrow gel. These are also my favorites for 
these last couple months. Even if I don't wear a lot of makeup, I still like to, you know, fill in my eyebrows <laughs> the best I can. Um, not so dramatic, but just so they're noticeable because my eyebrows are very sparse and you can barely tell that they're there. So these two are my favorites and you know I've had a love-hate relationship with this Anastasia dip brow pomade but I've come to love it again. I feel like as long as you don't use too much product um, your eyebrows should come out looking pretty good <laughs> and um, I really have been loving this. So this is this is definitely a favorite of mine. And then another one that I have been loving is this NYX Eyebrow Gel. So this stuff is so good. Once you put it on, it's not going anywhere. Okay, it, it will stay on your eyebrows like all day long until you pretty much just wash your face and wipe it off. So yeah, that's that for brow products. But right. so moving on, I've also been loving this Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana. So this is what it looks like. I know a lot of people have it in this type of a container. When I went to go buy mine, they didn't have it in this one. So I had to pick mine up in the smallest size that they carry. And I'm actually pretty happy that I picked it up in this because um, it does have a sifter in there. So I only get as much product as I need. And that's it. I know I picked this up at mm, Camera Ready Cosmetics, I want to say. So that's that. Someone's calling me guys, hold on. Another powder that I've really been loving this month is my Stay Matte, my Rimmel Stay Matte powder. And why is my lighting so bad? Okay, so I guess I have to show you guys stuff here. Okay, there. It's my Rimmel Stay Matte and I'm in the color Nude Beige. So I, oops. I've really been loving this powder. It really does a good job at keeping me matte. And I mean, I do have to reapply, but because I have really, really oily skin, I mean, I just can't tell you guys, my skin is so oily and I hate it. But you know, I have different, pro different products and different items that I do try, you know, throughout the month. But this has been working really well for me lately. So my favorite, favorite product, um, my favorite foundation for this month is my or for these two months is my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I still love this stuff. This is a holy grail product for me. I just, I can't find another drugstore drugstore foundation that I love more than this. I do have the um, L'Oreal True Match, but it is not my favorite. You know, for me, um, for my type of skin tone, I really prefer the L'Oreal Infallible. Okay, Pro Matte Foundation. Um, Another concealer that I've really been loving lately is this NYX Con HD Concealer and this in the color Medium. So this this stuff really works good for me and you know it also works good to clean up your eyebrows or your eyebrows. Yeah, once you fill in your eyebrows if you see that they're kind of messy you can take some of this and it doesn't really require a lot of product and you can clean your eyebrows up in no time. So the next two items are mascaras and this is the L'Oreal um, gosh, I don't even know what half these items are called. You know, a lot of the times, I guess they, if they don't have it on there, I really don't bother memorizing the name. I just know what I like and I pick it up and I just put it in my eyes. I, I guess I should, you know, really study, study the names of all these products before I show you guys. So this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Extra, Coll Extra Volume Collagen Mascara. And this is what the wand looks like. Do you see what that looks like? It's kind of angled. And I'm not a big fan of the brush angle itself. I really like more straight brushes just because I find that it's easier for me to apply. However, with this mascara, I love the way it goes on. It just gives my eyelashes so much volume and I can't get enough. Another favorite mascara of mine is this Rimmel Lash Accelerator and um, Mascara. Yeah, so it's the one with the green cap and or yellow, lime green. And this one, I'm really, you know, I really like it for those days where I'm not looking for too much volume. I mean, this does give, uh, give you really good, I guess, like length, but 
well for me anyways I feel like it gives me good length but I like I like it for my bottom lashes also so the brush isn't so big like like this one like this I would not be able to put on my bottom lashes it would get everywhere but if you can see since the brushes are um, different you see how this one's a lot fatter and then this one's a lot thinner so I like this one for my bottom lashes and I also do wear it on my top lashes just so you guys know but um, I you know I just love these two mascaras they're two of my favorites and they are long lasting so that's that's really important to me another thing that another item that I've been loving and it's a, and this is an eye um, an eyeliner and this is the wet n wild h2o proof liquid liner so this is what it looks like and it is a felt tip applicator so you know I don't know if you guys like these or if you guys like the brush but I also do own the other one the other one that has the little brush instead of the felt tip however I do feel that this one stays on a lot longer because it is waterproof and yes it really does take some work to scrub this baby off but I love it these are some lip products that I have been loving and this is the NYX intense butter gloss and this is the color chocolate crepe and this is such a nice color. It's actually a color I'm wearing on my lips today. These are two of my favorites that I've been loving all month long. And this is a Retro Matte um, MAC Lipstick in All Fired Up. And this is matte, so it is a little bit harder to put on. But it is like, it's a pink. Okay, so this is the... The NYX Butter Gloss. Okay, this one. And then this one is this uh, all fired up color. And it's it looks like a red, but it's a, a pink color. And it is so, so pretty. It's so bright. And if you love bright, like, pink lips, but they're like a fuchsia pink. Oh, it's almost like a red, really. It's like when you look at it, you would almost think it's red, but it's, it's a pink so it is so so nice I love this um, and then for my last product that I've really been loving um, I want to show you this L'Oreal Professionals Texture Expert True Grip I don't know if you all know but my hair is so so flat it has no volume so I try to use volume. I try to use products that will give my hair a little bit of volume and unfortunately um, they don't always work but this has been working this month and um, you know it's a texture spray it's a texture powder so it's like this and it's just powder so like I'm not going to show you because it'll just probably go everywhere but um, as soon as I put it in my hair you can you can see it gives me a little bit of volume now like I said my hair is very flat so for me to get volume it it's really hard but that's pretty much it for my um, July August favorites guys thank you so much for joining me um, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, don't forget to comment down below if you have anything to say or any suggestions or anything like that. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Until next time, bye guys.